Hello traders. In today's lesson, we're going to build strategies using the full settings. We'll first pick the strategy type and then we're going to have additional building configuration. Then we'll pick the data and the engine to build. We'll set the instrument and we'll pick a date range that will have some in-sample data and out-of-sample data. Then we'll pick the trading options building blocks and we'll choose a money management style for the trading strategy and finally we'll use ranking and auto filters to filter the bad strategies and keep only the good ones so let's dive into the software hello friends welcome to today's video we're going to go over the builder and build the strategy in a customized fashion so we learned that uh, we can use these templates to build a ready strategy and today we're going to over in full settings and build one. So we can build the strategy from these defaults uh, templates like we did last time but today we're going to go in full setting mode. So what we want to build? We're going to build a simple strategy that means a strategy running one symbol and one time frame because you can do multiple symbols, multiple time frames. You can start a strategy from a template that you saved already. So the simplest one is this. Then we can pick the direction, both long and short. We can use symmetry for exit and entry. In style, you can pick signal style or fuzzy logic and signal. Today we'll go over with signal style. This is only reserved for the old software. In build mode, you can use genetic and random generation. Each one has its own advantages and disadvantages. We'll do random generation now. Number of conditions. The fewer the condition, uh, the conditions, the uh, the more robust the strategy. And then uh, same thing for exit. This is the global period. For example, if you have a momentum indicator, a moving average indicator. It will be restricted between 20 and 100. And then global look back period, this is where you shift this indicator. So for example, if you have a 100 day moving average, you can only reference one day uh, earlier. And then for stop loss, it's uh, put it as a requirement. And then I would rather do an ATR based uh, stop loss. And then profit target, uh, so you can make it as a requirement or you can just use the same range of the stop loss optionally. Okay, now data. So the engine, today we're going to do trade station. And let's do a, let's do a stock. So we'll pick daily time frame, reset the dates. This is the total data available. And as you remember, you need to do an in sample and out of sample to train so let's pick three years february 8 that's give us roughly three years and then uh, let's do 20 percent out of sample trading options you can exit at end of day since we are doing a swing strategy then you can exit on friday so as not to hold your position over the weekend and you can limit the signal time range so you can say okay only take the signal between 8 and 11 a.m. or between you know after hours only now this will decide how many trades you can do per day so if you have three signals in a day you will only take one signal which is the first one and then you can decide on the minimum stop loss and maximum and same for profit target we leave this till the end after robustness testing and then reserved bars, this is uh, only uh, for trade station because trade station needs the number of bars used in calculation. In building blocks, basically, uh, because we're using the random generation, because if you use genetic, you'll notice that you have a genetic tab. So since we're using random generation, then we're going to have the building blocks. And building blocks, as it is, it's it's a block. It's like a puzzle. So 
strategy quant will try to fit as many pieces to this puzzle as possible to generate the required fitness. So you have predefined conditions and then you can combine indicators with uh, order types and exit types to bring up more signals. So if you just uh, randomly pick then that's 71 blocks here, 29 blocks here, 8 blocks. You can you know, add more or generate new 100 and so forth. So stop loss is required and then exit after bars is not required. It's going to be there available. Exit rule is going to be available also. And then here it's a stop uh, entry. A stop entry mostly used for breakout strategies. Uh, limit orders usually used for uh, mean reversion strategies and market for any strategy. In money management, it's basically deciding how many contracts or shares or lots you're going to trade. In this case, we decide on 100 shares, so each trade is going to be 100. Uh, that, that has nothing to do with the number of trades here. The, this is the number of trades. and this is how many shares you're going to buy per trade. In this case, shares because we're using stocks. And then if the account grows from 100 to 10 million, it still is going to trade 100 shares per trade. It's a lot easier to do robustness testing without position sizing because all this is position sizing. So we keep it at fixed size, always trading 100 shares. We're not going to do any cross-check which is robustness testing and then in ranking basically we're gonna tell the computer how many strategies to build so let's pick uh, 500 strategies and you're gonna stop until we fill it and then we're looking for the best net profit that's the fitness function and then in here we want uh, $500 profit for the in sample and 500 for the out of sample and then 50 trades for the in sample and then return to drawdown ratio more than one yeah, you can still uh, for example add number of trades for the out of sample uh, let's say five same here this one will make it 150 because remember, the out-of-sample is 20% of the in-sample. Actually, if you like, you can make it as a percentage. So we can say uh, net profit. And then we're going to pick a percentage and say 20. So what we're saying here is net profit of the out-of-sample is more than 20% of net profit of the in sample and you can play with this so now if the strategy is making five hundred dollars in in sample and since we know the out of sample is twenty percent uh, data of in sample then I'm gonna be uh, okay with fifteen percent profit of the uh, out of sample and then return to drawdown ratio of the out of sample is more than one and then the number of trades is more than five. We have automatic filters. If there are no trades, then delete that strategy. If there are too many open trades, because we only we should have only one trade open at a time. And if there is no time between the entry and exit, and if there are many trades exiting at the same bar. So all these will automatically delete the strategies. And then after that, we will use these filters to delete the strategies. And now we can go to progress and, uh, and as you notice the setting summary reflects whatever we did here we can click on start and then strategies will be built okay now that we have 500 strategies we can still uh, filter some more so for example these are the equity curve of the strategies. Okay, this is of the in sample, and this is the equity curve of the out of sample. So I'm interested in the full sample now. So you can customize this graph by going here and picking 
more columns or deleting more columns I already did one here that has the full data yes so this is in sample plus out of some in this uh, tab you can see not all equity curves are the same so in order to pick one like this which is going up smoothly you can do this by, via stability so if you rank on stability you can see that even though this is profitable at the end and we can look at the equity curve so even though this is profitable but you can see the stability is low why because the curve is not straight enough 0.79 all the way down and we can delete so now we are left with 73 strategies now this stability let's say you found out oh this is a valuable thing the next time you can do you can add it in the ranking so add condition stay ability remember this is very customizable software like we said so you can say I want the stability of the full sample not in sample and out of sample more than 0.8 in our case is more or equal so if you put this then all strategies will have smooth equity curve somehow so this is not as smooth but still it's going up all the way okay this gives you an idea about uh, about custom building your own strategies and making your own templates and of course as I said before this is you know the the software is so customizable that you know you need hours uh, of uh, practice and of course when you buy it like we said before you're gonna have in-depth training of how to do advanced strategy building Okay, for now, I'll see you tomorrow in our next video.